Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Linux channel and welcome back to another episode on uh, van optimization uh, you know, techniques. And you know, in my previous uh, episodes, I have discussed uh, you know the overall uh, you know uh, various techniques with which you can optimize your uh, van data. And uh, in my other uh, subsequent episodes, I have discussed about you know CDN technology and then uh, you know data deduplication and things like that as such. You know, in this episode, I am going to discuss uh, you know exclusively about uh, you know file or uh, web caching as such. You know. You know this is one of the oldest way and you know one of the most popular ways with which you can optimize your you know van network data as such and any kind of long distance uh, communication as such you know every time you are kind of uh, trying to pull you know a redundant file you know it can be pulled from your uh, you know caching server as such you know there are many advantages and uh, you know disadvantages of doing a, a kind of you know file caching as such you know again we can distinguish uh, you know we can just call this as you know file caching as a kind of overall uh, you know generic term as such you know or otherwise uh, in another case you can call as uh, you know web caching as such in a context of you know web traffic as such you know we can't say always it is a web caching as such because sometimes uh, you can employ uh, you know caching on top of ftp service you can even do caching on uh, you know microsoft uh, you know cafs uh, smb traffic and things like that as such. so in general we can consider as you know file caching as such you know as the name says uh, you know most probably you may have some sort of you know origin or source you know you may have a sort of source you know without caching uh, each time you kind of you know get the files from this you know site i mean it can be a server or something like that you know it can be some sort of remote server or you know some sort of you know system where in which you know it may have these files and uh, as a user if you try to access you know these files from this you know without a kind of file caching each time you know you access a file say suppose abc.txt you know it will be pulled from the source and if there is another user which uh, he or she again tries to pull that file you know again another copy will you know will be sent from the server to the client as such you know this is what happens uh, you know without caching as such so you know with the introduction of caching you know what happens is uh, you can have some sort of caching server and uh, each time various users you know pulls this file you know it kind of pulls you know once from here abc.txt and you know this data transfer will happen from here to here you know and any sort of subsequent uh, you know request from any other users you know it will it can uh, just uh, you know if the file is residing in this cache and uh, you know it can just pull it from the cache as such you know abc.txt and in this case if there is a kind of subsequent access you know it may no longer need to pull this from this you know origin source as such you know however this may kind of sound uh, simple as such uh, of course uh, you know there are certain challenges in terms of you know uh, doing things with uh, you know file caching strategy the one of the biggest challenges in case if the source file changes you know the caching server should know that and it has to kind of cross check you know every time there is a request from the user it has to kind of cross check you know if the source file have changed as such and sometimes you may have some sort of expiry field and things like that in a case like you know web traffic as such so you know these are the certain uh, you know uh, you know sort of limitations and uh, you know certain things you know to be points to be taken care of you know whenever you do you know file caching as such you know and uh, in this way it really saves lot of data as one can understand you know these files can be several mbs or you know even gbs as such you know once it is pulled into your local cache you know it can be your uh, you know local office you know this can be a you know site a and it can be your site b as such and you know both can be connected via internet or some sort of you know van network as such you know in this case definitely it is going to be a great advantage you know it is going to be residing as a local copy and it can be pulled any number of times once it is pulled from the main you know remote site to the local site as such you know the as i said before you know it has its own limitations and uh, 
you know this really works in a case of you know a data which is in the form of files as such whereas in a case like even uh, you have some sort of mysql data or uh, some sort of real time wipe data or something like that you know this kind of completely becomes obsolete and uh, it completely you know kind of go not going to address in such kind of use cases as such you know in that case maybe perhaps uh, you need to choose uh, deduplication and other lossless compression things like that so when it comes to you know file caching uh, it depends uh, you know each uh, you know it depends on your use case and uh, each person will have their own uh, you know sort of affinity towards this uh, technology as such you know as i said this is one of the most uh, you know traditional way to optimize your van traffic as such and uh, you know uh, personally if you you know consider me you know uh, as i have done extensive research on van optimization at the same time you know worked on my you know traffic squeezer solution i, I personally you know in my opinion i don't much you know kind of like file caching as such you know i kind of i'm a kind of person who sees uh, you know uh, the core uh, you know data as a kind of unified uh, entity as such you know kind of you know i can't distinguish i, I see in, in the level of packets as such and i can't uh, i don't like to distinguish in the form of uh, you know so, sort of sessions or whether it is tcp sessions or udp sessions and things like that as such you know it is uh, it is like end of the day your data is passing through a you know network gateway or something like that you know it it can be a mixture of any kind of packets at any given instance as such you know and the challenge is how do you optimize you know this kind of data as such which is a kind of blend of you know any kind of you know protocols and packets as such you know one of the biggest uh, limitation with uh, file caching is it depends on and it is highly protocol dependent it is highly you know application protocol dependent as such you know it, if it is a case of you know web data you know it has to be you know done uh, caching in the form of you know uh, sort of meant for web data as such if it is for ftp it should be for ftp and if it is for ssl then it's a completely different approach you should you know follow and uh, and in a case like you know cafs and uh, other protocols as such so it depends as such you know that's that's a sort of limitation with you know file caching as such and moreover you know there is no guarantee that uh, you know you you get a file and you keep it in your local cache and you can have around uh, even tbs of you know uh, free space left in your cache disk as such but you know there is no guarantee that uh, you know you may access the same files again and again and uh, you know you can't expect even other people will access the same files as such you know it's it kind of you know caching works fine in a case like isp kind of situation where uh, you know they want to optimize their internet data as such but in a case like you know corporate intranet uh, or even some sort of you know deep space communications uh, where you know I actively done research in, in the, you know i can't expect you know anything like this is going to solve you know those kind of use cases as such and also in the voip you know networks as such so so this is where the limitation of you know file caching in as a part of van optimization technology guys so this is one of the major factor i don't uh, in fact support any kind of caching in uh, traffic squeezer as such you know because the data is i regard data is you know unpredictable and uh, i just uh, like lossless compression and deduplication as one of the best ways to optimize your van data and uh, and one of the best ways to optimize your unpredictable van data like you know voip and uh, streaming and and so on as such you know so that's all guys uh, for this episode and i hope you guys uh, liked watching this video please do post your uh, suggestions and comments in uh, you know youtube uh, comment section thank you for watching this video guys uh, have a nice day